You found this podcast probably because you know a little bit about our ministry called Time of Grace and our passion about connecting people to God through all kinds of media. Well, did you know that we do a lot more besides just television and podcasting? If you check out our website, timeofgrace.org, you're going to find tons of ways to learn about the good news of Jesus, from daily written devotions to daily video devotions, tons of podcasts, blogs, our Bible Basics series called Bible Breath, and books and books and resources and more resources to help you in your walk with God. So if you're interested in any of that, just go to timeofgrace.org. If you are feeling burnout, it is probably because you've had stress over time, accumulated over time, that does not seem like it's going to let up. In our world, we are more likely to die from the stress rather than the stressor, so we have to try and be able to get rid of this stress. We live in a relatively safe area. We're not in danger of wild animals. We don't have unsafe working conditions. Our cars are safe. We don't live in a Charles Dickens novel. Instead, we have to figure out how do we get rid of this stress, and there's actual ways that you can do this. So from a Christian perspective, from a spiritual perspective, if we're weighed down by sin, and the psalmist even talks about it, his bones are wasting away when he held on to this sin. We confess that sin, and we breathe in the forgiveness of Christ, and we live a different life. But physically, what about the other stuff? There is actually stuff you can do to get rid of this accumulated stress. So I did a bunch of reading, looked at blog posts and podcasts and read books and scientific journals even, and this is some of the things that they talk about. Number one is the most obvious, exercise. You're stressed out in a situation, you go for a walk for 20 or 40 minutes. In fact, if you're too lazy to go for a walk, now I just cause stress, so we'll just get rid of that. If you don't feel like going for a walk, you can just tense your muscles for 20 seconds. I'm like, that's really efficient. Other things that you can do is do something creative. You can draw in a coloring book or whatever that looks like. You can um, have contact with other people socially. You can... um, lay down and take a nap. This all works. And one of the things that it said you can do, and this was in a scientific journal, they said you should have affection. And the example they had was that you should kiss for six seconds. I'm thinking six seconds? Who kisses for six seconds? That is so short. But the final one that they talked about is just making connection. And connection was this hug where you're both grounded on the ground. And this sounds so strange. You stand, you don't lean in on the other person, you just come together for 20 seconds. What are all these things doing, right? This seems a little bit maybe ridiculous, some of them. They're not actually getting rid of the stressor. This doesn't pay your taxes. It doesn't fix your job situation. All you're doing is when you breathe and when you do something creative is you're getting rid of the stress that's accumulated in your body. Which gets back to point number two. Control the controllables. You don't run the universe. God does. You don't determine if there's traffic. You don't determine if you have frustrating employers or employees. That's out of your control. But you do control how you react to them. You do control when you leave home for work. So control the controllables and leave the rest up to God. This is what it says in Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy 31 verse 8, the Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. So let's pray that God is with us as we go through our own journeys. Uh, Dear God, today help us do two things. First, give us the courage to control the controllables in our life and leave the rest to you. You created us with unique bodies and unique things that each of us can do to offload this oppressive stress that is burning us out. Ultimately, though, you have taken care of our greatest need in Christ and our salvation that he won for us. And help us always keep that at the center of the thing that we hold on to. We ask this in your name. Amen.